Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about how to build a luxury capsule handbag collection consisting of only three bags. So you guys know I'm a firm believer of only keeping what you really use and truly love and what makes you really happy. And I do often get questions about how to build a capsule handbag collection from you guys. So I thought I will just share my thoughts with you today. And also today's video is super exciting because I finally got my YouTube 100,000 subscriber plug, the silver play button. It arrived in the mail the other day and I am so excited to share this with you guys. So shall we do this one first before we get into my three picks? I just cannot believe that this day has come where I'm holding one of these boxes in my hands and um, it is all thanks to you guys. I just cannot say thank you enough to you guys. You truly made this happen. And without you guys' support, without you guys watching my videos and being part of this, you know, little family on this channel, this would never have been possible. So thank you so much guys from the bottom of my heart. And it really gives me so much motivation to just keep going and make more entertaining and helpful videos for you guys to enjoy. So let's open it up and have a look at it together. So here we are. There's a little letter from YouTube, from the CEO of YouTube, Susan. That is so nice. So YouTube gives you a little letter to help you celebrate and so encouraging. And this award has been packed with great care by Rick. So there's a little congratulations card from the person who inspected and packaged this. So really, really super nice. And oh, here it is, guys. Oh my goodness. I Sorry, I just can't believe that I'm holding this in my hands. Here it is, guys. So here is the 100,000 subscriber silver play button that I've only seen in videos and I really thought I would never really reach this huge milestone but you guys all made it so possible. I'm just in awe of you guys. You really give me so much support and yeah, I am just so happy and excited. It says presented to Isabel Style for passing 100,000 subscribers. YouTube and this is like a little mirror so thank you guys so much for making this possible um yes if my voice sounds a bit different it's because I literally just woke up I'm going to work in about 10 minutes but I wanted to really share this moment with you and film this before I go to work so I can get this video up for you guys so yes I am so excited I just cannot believe it and thank you guys so so much and yes Let's move on to the next section of the video. So let's talk minimalistic capsule luxury handbag collection. I've done videos before on my picks on five bags I'll never sell, five of my favorite bags, my most used bags, but I never really did a video where I just picked three that can be sufficient for a capsule collection. And whenever I get questions from you, how many bags are a good number to have in a capsule handbag collection? And that made me think, and I came up with the number three. So I picked one small bag that is really versatile that you can use for a lot of different purposes. And then I picked one large bag that fits a lot of things for you. And I picked one holy grail bag. So I'm going to show you my examples out of my whole collection. If I could only pick three bags to keep, these are going to be definitely it. And for you, it doesn't have to be these three bags, but you can pick something that'll fit each purpose. And I think that will make for a pretty well-rounded small collection. So you may be able to guess the first bag. So for a small versatile bag that can pretty much do it all, as long as you don't have to carry a ton of stuff with you, it is this one, the Chanel mini square flat bag in black with light gold hardware. You just cannot get more versatile than this. Of course, you don't have to go for a Chanel mini bag. You can go for another mini bag from another designer, but I wouldn't go really nano. I'd go to the size that is mini enough. They can transition you from day to evening, but I wouldn't necessarily go really, really small because I feel like the really tiny micro bags don't have the same versatility and don't have the same longevity because the nano bag trend is going to end at some point. 
So you want to go for a small size that still has a decent capacity for longevity. So my pick is this one. If it's everything that you need, if it's a phone, your keys, a card holder or a mini wallet, a lip gloss or lipstick, and it can also fit a small hand cream and a couple of other things. Something like this transitions so well from the day to night. So during the day, you can use these running errands because it is so small. You can crossbody it. You can use it as a shoulder bag. You can even take this for traveling because it's so small enough. And if you're worried about pickpocketers and drawing attention to yourself, you can always wear it the other way. It's a pretty sturdy bag. It's not as delicate as you think. And it makes for a really lovely evening bag. So I would even go as far to say if you could only have one bag, this is going to be sufficient. So that's going to be number one on my capsule handbag collection list. The second type of bag in my capsule collection list is a larger bag. So I would pick this particular bag from my collection because I've been really loving using this and I just absolutely love the aesthetics of this bag and how unique it is and everything. So of course you don't have to pick this particular one, but a larger bag doesn't even have to be a tote bag, but a larger size bag that can fit everything that you can take on board on the plane when you're traveling or for work or for those occasions where you need your laptop and a few other things, then a larger handbag definitely has a very functional place in a very small capsule collection. So my particular pick is my beautiful Ferrell Lepage Daily Battle Tote in the size 32 with the zip top. So it has the added security of being able to zip up completely. Often with tote bags, they're completely open top bags and that's okay because you can have separate pouches where you can keep your valuables in. But I've just really been loving having the option of having a zip closure. And what I love about this particular one is that the zip is kind of hidden. So the bag still looks really clean and smart. You can't see the zipper hanging out. I really don't like the look of the zipper that is really visible on top of the bag. I feel like that doesn't make the bag look as nice. So I just love that it is kind of concealed. And I just like that the Forella Patch bags are a little bit more niche. It's not as commonly seen as like a Louis Vuitton Neverfull or even Goyard, but the coat to canvas quality and the leather quality is so amazing and immaculate. So I would pick something that really makes your heart sing that is in a larger size that can carry it all for your life's needs for those times that you need to carry everything with you. The third bag that has a place in your very small capsule handbag collection would be pretty much just any holy grail bag, whether it be an Hermes bag, a Chanel classic flap in that unicorn combination that you've been waiting for, whatever it is, you've got the two practical bags that can cover you from day to evening. So you could technically just have two bags in your collection, but you know what? A handbag collection, mind you, a luxury handbag collection is there for you to enjoy. So I just had to pick one more in a holy grail category that you just really, really love having. And in my case, it is of course going to be my special order Kelly 25 in the color Cray, in the Celia construction, and with the Perma Brass Light Gold Hardware. So I'm just gonna, I always keep this one kind of like this when I'm not using it. So this is my ultimate holy grail. You guys already know the story about my special order. So this bag doesn't look like a special order. When you look at it just from outside, um, I kept it really, really clean, um, but I just customized the inside and got the John Ember very happy mustard yellow interior lining color. So in my case, if I could only keep three bags, this is going to be the third bag because it is just that bag that I've been waiting for so long and I just couldn't get it. And that's why my sales associate kindly offered me to design my bag with a special order so that I can have my Cray bag finally because he couldn't get one for me from a normal sort of bag offer. So like I said, doesn't have to be an Hermes bag. It can be anything that you've been waiting for that makes you really really happy. You guys know that I am constantly curating and reviewing and revising and editing my bag collection so that every single bag has a purpose and every single bag gets used frequently. 
So I often have a little chart on my phone with all of the bags that are currently in my collection. So whenever I feel like doing a little revising of my collection, I can see the whole collection before my eyes and it's really easy to gather my thoughts and um, you know think about what bags I've been using, what bags I haven't been using. So when I was planning for this video, I looked at that chart and I thought, you know what? A lot of these bags I absolutely love, but I could really do without if I had to go as drastic to be a minimalist. I don't think I'll ever be a minimalist when it comes to handbags. I will never be excessive, but um, I'll probably always be somewhere in between where, you know, I have a curated collection, but I'm not gonna be a minimalist, I don't think. I just enjoy too many of my bags to become that drastic. But it just got me thinking and it was really fun and it was really surprising to see that there weren't that many bags. If I just could keep these three bags, I think they will cover my lifestyle's needs. So I want to know what you guys think. So what are your three picks if you could only pick three handbags from your collection? And I just wanted to mention one more time, I've already shared this on my Instagram, but I'm wearing the beautiful Keras earrings at the moment. So Keras from LV Lover CC just designed her own um, earrings with Ana Luisa. So it's this beautiful hoop pearl earring and the hoops are gold plated. And I absolutely love the size of the hoops, the pearls, you guys know how much I love pearls. And whenever I wear my hair up or even down, I just feel like they add a lot of you know something to my outfit so i wanted to share that with you i'll also leave Karis's earrings in the description section below as well so if you love the look of these hoops then make sure you check them out and another massive congratulations to Karis for coming up with this beautiful design with anna luisa anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you so much again guys for helping me reaching such an amazing milestone and I would love to continue to grow with all of you so if you've got friends or family members who might enjoy my channel I'd love it if you would tell them about my channel so we can grow even further thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video bye guys